Now this is our basic jet that we've uh, finished with. Uh, what I'm going to do is hit Alt W, make this full screen, and kind of spin around. Now this is a very low poly model, so uh, when we're working with it, uh, it'll work real well within our Unity game engine. Now we have two basic surfaces here, uh, so when we go to import this in, we can actually uh, save it as a uh, .fbx file, and then add our surfaces or import our services as well through our Unity game engine. So to export it, just go up here and click on this and go down to uh, export. Now you can't do save as, you have to go to export. And by default, your export is a Autodesk FBX file. So I'm just going to save this as Jet FBX. Because a lot of times it will not show me uh, my file extensions. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the desktop for now. And since I already have one here named Jet FBX, I'm going to name this one after it. Now when I click Save, it'll prompt me with these export uh, box. Now we can go in ahead. I'm, in this video, I'm not going to go through and talk about these. Uh, but just for the purposes of importing this into our Unity game engine, we can click OK. And then just go ahead and accept the defaults here. And um, then when we uh, import our jet.fbx, be sure to add the two surfaces that we've uh, done. Upload those at the same time into the Unity systems. And then you can just go into the materials and add those there. Now, this is very basic. So if we want to add more detail, we could actually have a much nicer looking plane. But just remember, the more polygons you have, the, lower, the higher your um, file size is going to be. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're creating... Uh, your objects for your uh, video games. Hope you enjoyed the series. Thanks. Bye.